Caesar Palace today and we're gonna do review of this hotel let's check what we're gonna get Buddy. subscribe to our channel there's something that I don't like about all of this parking garage because they are huge and you have to carry your luggage all the way through casino so parking is $15 here in Caesar Palace. It's pretty clean. It's like working out. It's a huge line. Yeah, I hope they have the special line. So he told us to go to a different line. So guys, we just checking in. We want to do some sweet upgrade, yes? Yeah, but we were actually recommending not to because he said that it's not worth an extra 500 bucks so we'll just have a standard premium room let's so, see what we're gonna yeah, get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking that's a challenge for me and i have just a small suit you can do it babe you it's can do it small. oh my gosh I hope that by tomorrow we're gonna get there. Probably this hotel looks much luxurious than Cosmopolitan. I think it's not 60. All of the hotels in Las Vegas, they are actually cheating you on the number of the floors that they have. So basically they're just keeping like 10 floors and then you think, oh, I'm so high. But in fact, it's not. I mean, it's high, but it's not that high. So this hotel cheating us? All hotels cheat. Even oh my gosh. Welcome to Caesar Palace in Las Vegas. Tonight we are staying in this Octavius Premium room and it costs approximately $350 per night. What do we have here? Let's check. The first impression is like a pretty classic room and everything in European style. I love it. So approximately this room 600 square feet, it's a pretty large room, it looks like a palace. So we have here TV, we have bed, we have two nightstands, arts, mini bar, we have snack. So, and we have like this corner couch, I love this corner couch, look you can sit here and drink some beer or wine or just like enjoy your TV we have this amazing view Caesars Palace opened its doors in 1966 at that time it was just in the middle of nowhere they had a lavish opening party which cost them almost a million dollars and they always wanted to attract high rollers and now especially those from Asia. So this hotel has almost 4,000 rooms and it had a couple of renovations through the years. So at check-in always ask for a renovated room. And let's 
check the bath. Look at this skin bath. It's in here, here. So this room is pretty much similar layout like in Wind Hotel Resort, uh, standard room. And I love this best. We have like a jacuzzi. We have like separate restroom, shower, like two things separate. Everything on the right place. And size of this best pretty much enough for two people. More than enough. But now let's check the dusty places. Oh, here is clean. Oops. Here looks like this bath is clean and shower is clean. So couch is usually my favorite part to check the dusty places because nobody clean it. Mm. This is much better than Cosmopolitan's hotel. Mm, gee, it's so clean. MM Dems? Do you want MM Dems? No. Maybe ball? No. For gaming? No. No? Mm -hmm. I found it. Here. It's the most dirty place. <laughs> Clean. Wow. Clean! No, no way. way! Dusty, yeah! I found it! This tower is renovated, but for me it looks like a little bit old and this furniture have some chips and scratches and it's not good enough for 5 star hotel and this TV for me it looks like really old, it's sick and big and bulky, so it's not renovated. Usually in Las Vegas you can't find any coffee machine in room, but in this one we have Keurig machine. So, as you remember, in Wynn has the same closet and safe in this location and everything looks like the same in Wynn, almost the same layout. Caesar's Palace design is inspired by Italian Rome. So they wanted to create a feeling that you are just walking somewhere in the Italy and having fun around all the statues that you find in the hotel. And in 1992, they were one of the first to come up with the idea of a luxury shopping mall inside the hotel as an attraction. And now four shops have some top of the brands and it even has a trivia fountain where you can just drop a coin and make a wish if you want to return to Vegas. And now time to explore common grounds. Let's go! Yeah, just for... Keep distance. The buffets in Las Vegas are actually closed, and this one is all. It used to be really good, but you are getting like too much food for your money. We are at farm shops. This is the main shopping district here. It's really cool. It's a real sky. No, it's not. It's fake. Really? Yeah. A lot of things that you see here are fake, but they are really good copy of what you would see in um, Italy. 
I'm becoming smarter. Before I sleep, I should check yellow stain. <laughs> we have a hole. Hello. So it's clean. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, dude. Yeah. Do we have a slippers? No, I, I was just taking a bath and I just realized that we don't have any slippers and no bathrobe. So let's try and request those. Thank you for calling Mrs. Palaskis already. How can I help you? Uh, hi, um, I wanted to request some bathrobes and slippers because we don't have any. Oh, I do apologize, we don't provide them in our rooms. Okay, and is this a five-star hotel? Uh, this is the first five-star hotel which does not provide sleepers and bathrooms. At least the ones that I stayed at. This is super sad. How do you like the gym? Yeah, the vibe is super cool. So guys, this hotel is really good, I love it, I surprised how clean it is and I love common grounds area, hall, gym, you feel like really 5 stars hotel. But for a 5 star hotel we really wish that they would have some best robes and slippers for their guests. Because they have a really nice um, spa jacuzzi bath that we were enjoying and then we were basically just running naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same goes with the buffet. It's unfortunately closed um, due to you know what. And um, vibe of this hotel, you feel like in Italy. It's really nice, uh, and we love this place. But rooms need to be a little bit updated. Yes, exactly. So what they call renovated, make sure that you are staying in the latest renovated rooms in Augustus Tower. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit old. And uh, what else? Subscribe to our channel and see you next video. Yeah, and comment below if uh, you have any thoughts on that. Or maybe you have been here as well and we have left anything behind. Bye! Bye-bye! You know, it's so surreal. Just imagine that this was just a desert and this hotel was somebody's dream. I know they they were mobsters, but who cares? I mean, look, they built this small Italy in the middle of nowhere and it's just amazing. It just blows my mind.